Next up I've got this little Daewoo LCD monitor here. This is actually a combination monitor. It's got both a VGA input and a couple of composite video inputs for security cameras. It says Lucoms on it. Now this monitor, uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with it, but as soon as I put power to it, smoke starts coming out the back. So I know there's a problem going on in there. Let's see, we got two BNC video jacks, one input and one output, left and right audio and VGA. And let's see, this is a model L523BCC, made in April of 2006. So I gotta open this thing up, find out what's smoking in there. Whatever it is, it ain't, can't be good. Okay, I've got the back off, and I uh, expected to see a lot worse damage, but really it's nothing. This IC right here, which is a TDA7496L, is what's burnt. There's a big crater in the center of it there, and all that is is the audio amp. And it's a standard through mount IC, not some fancy surface mount junk, so... I really could care less about the audio on this, and for testing purposes, I'll just remove that chip and see if the monitor runs. I can order one of these anytime and stick it back in there. So, I guess I'll pull this board out now. Alright, now that I got that piece of junk amp chip removed, I'm going to try power this up, see if uh, the rest of the monitor works. I also found that I've got a broken BNC jack. I'm going to try and solder that back in place while I'm at it too. After some more poking around, I discovered that the uh, DC converter circuit is, is on the backlight inverter board. And there was a very tiny fuse that was blown, uh, called a Pico fuse actually. And uh, I did a temporary, very crappy looking uh, fuse rig there. I put a 2 amp fast blow on the board. And I uh, removed that burn up amp chip, like I said. Got rid of that short. And, uh, Check this out. It works. So, very promising. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the, uh, get that amp chip replaced and of course replace that with the proper fuse. Uh, caps are all good except for like two of them I think. I'll change those uh, when the uh, other parts come in and this project is coming along quite well. I didn't think I was going to be able to fix this one. I think what happened is somebody used the wrong AC adapter on it and, and uh, that you know the 12 volts goes straight into the amp chip it burnt that out and then the rest of it goes through that fuse there so luckily the fuse actually protected the circuit this time instead of the circuit protecting the fuse. So. Let me see if I can get the parts in and make this thing work and put back together. Alright, I'm getting ready to make a parts order and I want to make sure I've got the right value fuse here. And the funny thing is, I guessed a 2 amp fast blow, just off the top of my head, it ended up being about exactly what I need because the monitor is drawing 1.3 amps continuously during operation and a 1.5 amp probably blow on startup. So 2 amp fast blow is probably right about what it needs and uh, I don't really want to use another Pico fuse uh, I mean I could if, uh, if I can get them easily enough but what I'll probably end up doing is just attaching wires to the spot and either mount a fuse holder here or just have a small internal fuse soldered on the board there but, uh, I'm gonna order some parts at the same time and get this audio amp chip that I need and and uh, try to solder this BNC jack back in place make this thing fully functional again. It'd be a nice little monitor for for testing stuff. It's got uh, composite video and VGA so I can play video games on this or something if I got an old NES or Sega Genesis or something with uh, composite video because it's got these built-in speakers too. Well, after two weeks of waiting, I finally got the audio amp chip, got it installed, and this is a great little monitor for uh, testing stuff out, whether I'm using VGA or uh, composite video. 
my camera is not really picking up the picture all that well. It looks kind of blown out in my camera. Couldn't find that chip anywhere, so I actually had to go on eBay, and it came all the way from Great Britain. So, but it's here and uh, it's up and working great. Got my old 3DO hooked up. So it'll be a real handy little monitor. Sound isn't anything to write home about, but it works. It gets plenty loud. Anyway, there you go, another repair done.